top of the morning. All right, I'll try that again. Top of the morning to Una. Um, I was riding right into some roadworks there, so couldn't hear myself speak. I'm off to Cambridge this morning. First time going to Cambridge in about, I think, 35 years. I was a young teen the last time I went there. I don't remember much about being down there. I went to visit some family friends. Um, but I think I do recall seeing lots of bikes in Cambridge. I don't know why it's, it strikes out as being uh, a city or a place where there's a lot of cycling going on down there. Um, but yes, I'm off to Cambridge. The plan is to get the uh, train back, but depending on how I feel, I might do the return journey on, on the bike. So let's see how it goes. I'm at uh, Regent's Park in a circle. This is where we're meant to be meeting up before we ride out and I think there must be a, a duathlon going on because I'm seeing a lot of people running towards the inner circle and there's like little bikes around the fence well there were and um they're jumping on bikes so it must be a duathlon or something going on Sure, what's going on? Hello there. Fancy meeting you on the ride, Carla. <laughs> it's been a long, long time. <laughs> Since winter. Yeah. <laughs> My first long ride. <laughs> in doing the ride London, it makes it, it, you appreciate how special the ride London is because when you're riding um, on London's roads during normal, say, rush hour and just regular daytime, all the stopping and starting and stopping and starting. It gets a bit annoying at times. We're in North London. Oh, uh, put my teeth in. We're in North London. The horrible part of North London. Name the stadium. Right, all crew members on board. Picked up the last one, Kareen. Now we're ready to roll. I think so. I hate these cycle lanes. I think they're more dangerous than than actually riding in the road with the cars. You've got cycle lanes where it passes across the uh, pathway of pedestrians that are getting on the bus. So it literally passes in front of bus stops. Um, there's lots of like curbs, drop curbs and so on. You're going up and down, in and out. It's, it's dangerous. Oh gosh. See what I mean? That's a typical example. The cycle lane crosses the bus, bus stop. Bus is there. Lady gets off the bus. I had to swerve to avoid her.
but here comes another one look this is the cycle lane I'm moving into the cycle lane now I'm just educating people GoPro. I missed out on filming some really good um, scenery, but um, we're, we're, where are we? We're in a place. Well, we're at a jet petrol station, Mokul. and where? Mokul. Oh yeah, we're in Mokul. <laughs> um, translate that into English. It means we're far, somewhere far from home. Don't know where. Um, we've got about 28 miles before we reach the destination. Um, there's a group that's behind us. Um, I think we're gonna wait for wait for a bit, see how it goes. Um, I don't know how I feel about riding back now, you know. Thundridge. Oh, thunder, thundridge. I'm past it. Thun, thunderidge or thundridge. But um, yeah, as for riding back, I don't know, man. I'll see how I feel when I get to Cambridge. Ah, you can't beat the country here. This is just beautiful, mate. Beautiful. miles to go I'm feeling good it's getting a bit warmer but I'm hydrating a lot I've had a peanut butter sandwich some fruit pastels some water and I'm feeling airy his dad look see the cars on that yeah so um as for riding back to London no nah, it's not happening I feel all right I feel good but um when I get to Cambridge there's a fat burger and an ice cold beer or cider with my name on it. And after that, I just want to jump on the train. I don't want to jump on the bike again. It's been a good ride so far, man. It's just beautiful. Look at this, man. This is why I love doing the countryside rides because we don't get this in London. It's just bloody high rise, 
block smoke filled city with the cars and rude, arrogant, abrasive, toxic people. When you come out into the countryside, the people out here are so, seem to be so welcoming and polite and nice. Everyone says hello to each other. Well, they say hello to me. Anyway, well, we've got 70 miles to go. Catch up in a bit. Yeah. See, this is what I love about um, doing these rides as well, coming to the countryside. Not only do, do you get to experience or see the beautiful countryside, but it's these little villages. Just to um, see all these different types of houses, the thatch cottages. It's, yeah, it's just beautiful. Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. Christine. <laughs> we are in Cambridge yet, you know. Oh, no boys. Can I, I um, be cheeky and ask for a little bit of ice in my yeah, cup? Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, no, thank you. Just no, the ice. Okay. Thank you. Can I get the same, please? And, and some water, please. Thank you so much. Oh. Just a little bit. An excuse to come back here. Do you do, do, you do food here? Uh, yeah, we can. Okay. Yeah, an excuse to come back. <laughs> <laughs> right, 40 miles to go. Try and do this in about 45 minutes. Get a nice fat burger and a pint down the gully. And then jump on the choo choo train back home to my gaff. It's a beautiful little village. Six miles to go. I'm definitely not riding back. I'm getting on the train. I'm tired, man. Oh. Still, it's been a fantastic ride though. So I'm not complaining one bit. Just saying, 
I think I've failed my mission to ride back. I'm staying in my lane. I'm not gonna push it. Three and a half miles to go, or just over three miles. On a nice little uh, cycle path here, in between train track and um, looks like a wheat wheat field. What do you reckon? It looks like wheat to me. Cambridge and um, we're just going through to the town centre along these cycle paths. Now coming along these cycle paths it reminds me of um, um, growing up in Holland. I used to spend my summer holidays in Holland and um, there's some really obviously well, cycle paths here are really nice. Been fed and watered. Now heading to the, heading to the train station. Knackered. I can't do the journey back. Dreaming Looked at my um, Wahoo. And 69 miles. No, well, to be precise, 70 miles from home to where we are now. So that would be like a 140 mile round trip. I haven't got that in the bag today. Car back. 